A total of eight students have been picked up by Dibrugarh police so far in connection with the HSLC question paper leak case. Most are class 11 students of Salt Brook Academy, Dibrugarh. This was informed by Dibrugarh SP Shwetang Mishra. Speaking to Northeast Live, SP Mishra revealed sensational details of the case. He said that the students allegedly forwarded the question paper through their smartphones and charged prices ranging from rupees 500 to rupees 2000 from recipients. SP Mishra further stated that the next step will be decided by the CID only. And also worth mentioning here is that a Dibrugarh police led by SP Mishra also interrogated Salt Brook director Ashwini Deora. Salt Brook Academy principal Ranjit Borwa and Nilanjan Bordeloy, the principal of Salt Brook School, in connection with the case. Uh, so far, uh, we have uh, eight students who are being interrogated, and there is one more informant who is with us. So, total nine persons are there. One, one is uh, not a student, the other eight are students and uh, some of them, uh, we, we are verifying their age. Uh, we have asked their parents to produce the uh, age certificate so that we can verify their age and take legal action accordingly. Uh, students are mostly from uh, Salt Brook School, uh, Academy actually, and uh, remaining that one person is from Dhemaji. Uh, 11th class, they are mostly from class 11, mostly are from commerce stream, some are from science stream also. Some of them have done money transaction through digital wallets in lieu of uh, transferring the papers. Some people took 500, some people took 2000, so uh, small transaction, but they have taken money. Uh, as we get evidence against uh, the involved people, we'll take legal action. The case was originally registered in CID, we have only got a requisition to assist CID. Meanwhile, we have reactions coming in from Salt Brook Academy Director Ashwini Dwara. Let's listen in. It was an interaction with the SS superintendent, not an interaction, but an but a interaction with him. The interaction was that he was a, he was worried about the education system. Assured us his interest. Also, that's very there's something which is not good for the society, as we agreed to that. And if these students were they involved in all this, then uh, whatever. They have to face, they have to face the law. The question here is, I was worried about how did it land because our institute has closed down many days back. There was no one because the course is over. But they have come yesterday or day for yesterday, I don't know which day. They have come because their admit card is supposed to be given today. So they have to be appearing in the exam? Yes. Higher secondary, first year. All hostel students. Last night, everyone from the hostel. These are all not Dibuga town. They are from outside Dibuga town. I have asked the superintendent of police, please request, I am requesting you, please release these boys so they can appear for the exam. And he said, well, no, the matter has gone to CID, I cannot tell them anything. I said, okay. This, this problem has been going on, going on. The only way it can be returned is to pass a law. Pass a law that if anyone is found, any found with these papers, they will be arrested and taken action, severe action. Otherwise, if you get it, then delete it. No spreading of this. That's why the, the law... That the government should pass a law, then only this thing will stop. Others it will never stop. It has been going on for years. Not today, it's going on for years.